Welcome to my permadev series for No Man's Sky and we're starting this video up on a space station because what I want to do in this video is try and wrap up some of the photo images missions that I've got. You can see I've got a whole, if I flip through here you see I've got a whole load of these. Now one of the problems with these missions is that if, if you click on an individual one it will come up and it will tell you what it needs to do but you can't look at these quickly because if you click on this it doesn't tell you what you're meant to be taking a picture of so what I've actually done is I've gone through them all and made a physical list and give you an idea of the number of missions I've got I've got four missions to take a picture of a monolith one of a transmission tower uh, one of an observatory uh, two for an underwater creatures one for an abandoned building and one for a hollow terminal so that gives you an idea of how many missions I've piled up. So what I would like to do is just do a bit of general exploration of the planets and see what we can find. Right, so yeah, yeah, I think I've got the missions in this system. So actually what I will do, let's just get a directive and see what missions I've got here. And so in some ways this is going to be a little bit of a mission chill out type video because I know it's very nice to focus on some of the big features of the game, but sometimes it's just nice to play the game, to be honest. And this is, I mean, this is why I play No Man's Sky. I don't play No Man's Sky to wait for the next big update and just do that. I'm interested in other things. We've got uh, Raider Planetary Depot for five ink rich carbon. Uh, deliver an item. That will probably take us to another system. Actually, that could be interesting. Let's, let's do that. And that actually improves my merchant standing as well, which I've, I've got to do as well. So what have we got to deliver? So we've got decrypted user data and a defense chip. So yeah, it's going to take us to another system. Well, <laughs> there, there's me. I'm deviating from my plan immediately, which is, again, very much the way I play No Man's Sky. I, I don't set out to do specific objectives. Except for maybe when I'm making a very targeted video. I just like to go with the flow of the game. There it is. I mean, with these deliver missions, they're never far away from the planet because it takes into account that not everyone's got the latest tricked out ship. So we're just going to go here. Yep, thank you, game. Of course, the first thing we're going to do when I can find it, where is it there? We're going to visit the space station and check the missions. Oops. So we've got hostiles coming in already. So this could be a fairly friendly or unfriendly system. So this could be a fairly unfriendly system. Once we get in the space station, we'll, we'll take a look at where, where we've actually come to. jump out. So where where are whoops wait discoveries. So actually it looks like we're in a system with three planets, two moons. It's a conflict level perilous developing. Yeah, so we're really down in the bargain basement now. But I'm just gonna be curious to check the multi tools. Uh, just to see because I I do want a I I'm I'm the eternal optimist uh, that looks uh, that looks pretty interesting. I bet you it's rubbish though. Yeah, um, it's a B class. <sighs> it's one of the annoying things with this game is the really cool looking multi tools often have got terrible stats. Uh, wow, look at that! That looks pretty awesome. Uh, what's it? Again, well, that's a not bad. This is 23 slot C class. Again, it's the ships, but at least we can upgrade the ships now. Let's have a talk with you. I still need the eternal quest for dihydrogen gel, so. Nope. Uh, no dihydrogen gel. I must scrap one, one of the Dark Stars, so that if I see a ship that I really like. I can do it, but uh, let's get in 
to here. Let's see, what have you got for me? Browse missions. Well, we're scanning for planets. Plants, not planets, something. I always like killing the sentinels, so I like collecting those missions as well. Got another deliverer items. Got to kill three monstrosities. Uh, may come back for that because that that these monstrosities are often locked into the system. Got to repair damaged items. Two cryo pumps. That's not bad actually. Uh, I think we'll snag that. I mean, I've got overlapping missions now, so it, life could get a bit complicated. But we will get back to the... what was it? Deliver an item, wasn't it? That one. Urgent shipment. We'll do that one first. And see where it takes us. Okay, we're gonna have to fend off the. I mean, I could duck back in. Well, we'll just see. Yeah, where are you? Oh, it's just sort of brief flash. I can't even see them. Where are they? Ah, oh, there they are. Hello, boys. I think the problem is you've got red indicators against a red sky. I think I've got a bit of supplementary defence but I've got to make sure I don't hit them. Uh, oh, looks like there's three of them. Uh, get the deflection. It's always easier when they fly straight at you. Oops. Kind of zoomed over the top of me there. Yeah. Bit of chromic metal. Yes, thank you, game. Okay, uh, so we've got to go to a moon. Let's just have a quick scan and see what that is. I think I've just judged the ship to actually miss the scan. Well, get a bit closer. It's also it's buried in the rings. So we've got a boiling moon. That, that's going to be fun. We've got selenium, copper, phosphate, phosphorus, and cobalt. At least it's not a boiling water moon. They were just dropped down into the. Oh! I was expecting to land on a trading station. Okay. So here it is. What is this? It's just this building. Well, we'll just get inside and take a look. See. And we'll just look at the item. This is uh, ocular ray. Wow, okay. I <laughs> uh, wasn't expecting that. Maybe because it's such a high level mission, it actually sends you to these so that you've um, got to put the um, option, to, um, so you've got to put resources in. It might transmit success. I transmit a signal over the object's diagnostic reporting tool. Yep. Um, locate and repair. Let's have a word with this guy and see what he's got to say. Traveller, Corvax sees what you are, aid Corvax and Corvax will aid you. The life form's mask flashes a repeated pa pattern. They gesture towards their manifest as if that to recruit me for some task. I wish they gave us a bit more detail on the task, but we'll go for it. The life form's visor flashes once more. I cannot read their reactions. I, sh I shall have to complete the task to learn more. This is where it's going to send me up into space. Uh, so. 
Find and destroy five depots. Okay. Wait. Go away. I don't want to fight you. I'm not doing very well here at the moment. <laughs> uh, let's just get into the ship. Um, I'm exhausted at the moment, which isn't helping matters very much. Wow. Um, it's quite surprising. I, I hadn't seen walkers for a long time, and it, now I've, I've had to f for two videos in a row. Well, we're gonna have a crack at him. I'm in, kind of in a mood to kill a few sentinels. If you want to pick a fight, ah. Uh, although I think a walker only counts as one. Whoops. I wish, wish these ships had a hover capability. Let's blast all their armor off. Got to get the leg armor off first. Right, got the leg armor off. Um, where are you? Uh, that wasn't very good, was it? Ah. Coming a bit too quick. That's a bit better. Oh, th ah, there he is. if I can I just pull away and then spin round so I wouldn't mind the walker brain but then I tried to get one last time and then had a few problems let's see if we can wait stop it game stop it stop it stop it right we've got a landing sequence at last Where's the walker? Where's the walker gone? He's here, but where is the... I'm sure that's the walker. Ah, it's already disappeared, isn't it? Okay. Well. I've got mission defeat creatures, so there's a few creatures hanging around here, so... Well... Sentinel forces deactivated. We'll just feed you. And you guys can all rush up and enjoy yourself. There we are. Right. There's the depot. Um, I'll see if we can get over here and raid the depot. Um, it's only a few seconds away. missions. To what happened to the mission? How the game's changed the mission. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit annoying like that when you complete a mission and then the game flips over. We uh, got plants in the way here. But we should... Sulfurine. Right. Completed the mission. I'm just looking for some sentinels to blow to kill as well. There they are. They're actually flying quite high. Can I take those out? Right, let's just go back to our friend and hand in the mission. Um, 
because we'll take it slow so that the sentinel searching will uh, disappear. Oops, just bashed a tree. Right, the sentinels have calmed down so we should be able to speed our way back to wherever we're going. And land. And we'll just get in here, talk to this guy. My environmental protection is dropping. Oh, there you are. Thought you were hiding from me. So, I've killed some. I <laughs> just did a little twirl there. I'm not sure if the recording would have picked that up. But he kind of spun around like a top. The Corvax makes a gesture of thanks. They scan me briefly, making a note in their records. Bookkeeping complete. They present me with a reward. Um, well, I've got absolutely no idea. Oh, they've got some nanites. Um, this is quite a big place. So, and it looks like the sentinels are back doing a bit of scanning. Yeah. What's this here? Wow, this is a big place. It's all just carbon. And this is new as well, to have a completely dark corridor. Uh, normally they light up or something when you enter them. Uh, I've got some projectile ammunition, not that you really need it. The question is, how do I get out of here? Alright, we're back to where we started. This should be the way out. Let's have a quick look round. I've got a can't remember if it's plants or minerals I've got to scan, but that's okay. There's a little bit of uh, more projectile ammunition. Don't really need it. This is a really big base. Uh, we can just jump over the top. This is where I land and I go clunk. Obviously the game thinks I'm in dire need of ammunition, but what I do need is environmental protection. I'm nearly out. Uh, we'll just use one of the big batteries for that. That needs topping up as well. Of course we'll claim the base. And I suppose I better start looking for the exactly what I was meant to be doing in this video. Which is, um, I'm actually going to take a picture of this because I would say that this is actually meant to be an observatory and I'm just wondering if I can cheat the game a little bit here and so if we get in here pick up the left shift yep I'm pretty sure that's the observatory mission done I think what we'll do now is I've got loads of uh, missions we're gonna see what we can scan for this way and see what turns up and see if that's this is on my list this is alien artifact discoverer that tells me a lot doesn't it this ancient plaque I, I haven't got a mission to do an ancient plaque but well, well we might as well do it and see what's in that direction Sometimes it just pays to have a target. Um, uh, well, I think we'll just use an oxygen capsule. Oops. It's only a few seconds away, so it's not like it's uh, going to be a long expedition. Some more resources over here. Uh, not <laughs> more projectile ammunition. Uh, uh, and of 
as well grab this. So um, Firstborn overreached. Seek knowledge of the past. Um, yeah, let's go for that. That might actually work. Yeah, ancient ruin. I've actually got the mission to take a picture of an ancient ruin, so that could take us on a, a little, another step forward. So <laughs> I've got to find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So this one's off planet, so we we'll have to get up out and go to another planet. Because of course we're on a moon at the moment, so yeah, it's it's on the associated planet so what is this planet so a quick scan see if it is it's not telling me head for the ancient ruin oh no I'm t I was thought I was going to go to the, the other planet obviously this one was hidden behind so we've got absolutely no idea what this is but then that's part of the fun just landing on a planet that you got absolutely no idea what you're getting into this actually looks like it's a cold planet. So. Yeah, ice pound, sentinels enforcing, flora and fauna abundant. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna. Um, I'm not exactly too sure what I'm meant to be taking a picture of, but. Uh, That didn't trigger any mission. The first thing we're going to do is dig out down here because there's always a small uh, key crate down here. There it is. Or ancient fragment as it's called. Uh, there's another ancient fragment over there. Of course it's also a possibility that this isn't the ancient ruin that the game is expecting for the mission. Because there, are, I think there are other forms of ancient ruin as well. There's a fragment there, so we'll just grab that and and this is the beat. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it it likes to hide from you. And where, where's the big crate? There it is. Um, oh. There it is, large artifact crate. Because we've got to put the keys in. So what did we get? Did we get anything? Um, I don't think I got anything. Let me just let me just go back down because I'm not. I got a feeling I didn't pick it up. That's better. So we've got mutated flood brush, brush nuts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How much is that worth? That's worth 763,000. Again, when you're starting out, doing these missions is a really good way to make money. So we got a little bit of star ball, we got some mush. Uh, it's just, uh, I think I've got some more goopy stuff that needs to be turned into just to keep that going. Uh, let me just see. Uh, scan some plants. Just a, uh, there's a something right in the distance there. Scan that. Those are rocks, but we'll scan a rock. Um, do, 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 do. Right, let's just go for another. See what we can get this time.
Right, we've got a monolith. That is great, because that will be four missions. Or, I think it's four. <laughs> so we're just going to jump. Oops, just nearly fell in the hole. Um. How far away are you? Yeah, you're a few minutes, so we'll go up into space. a building over there. What is that? I, I saw it. It was kind of welcoming me. What is this? Oh, a hollow terminal. Yes. That's a, this is another one I need for my, my photo expedition. So we're just going to get here. Um, and we're just going to Again, hollow terminals feature a lot when you are doing the Traveller mission. I really hope Hello Games develop these because, I mean, they're quite an impressive structure. I think we'll just get that there. I should quite like that. Um. Yep, let's, let's fire that mission. Oops, wrong aside. Oh, I haven't seen one of these uh, navigation datas at the end of one of these buildings for some time. They used to be very common, but suddenly they seem to disappear. can't remember which update it was now. But the role of these minor settlements has changed since the start of the game. They were quite important earlier on, but what's happened is they've kind of lost their importance over time. Right, I don't think feel there's anything else around here that we can scan that. Uh, uh, anything else plant life wise here. There goes another mission. Scan unique plants. Uh, I think we're going to have quite an impressive crop of missions to hand in at this rate. And um, um, I'm just going to fly in this direction. Um, and whoops! <laughs> I think I just knocked the top off a tree on the way through. Are those storm crystals over there. Nah. There's a couple. Um. I'm just a bit curious. I know I should be wandering off. What is that these? Oh, these are these are frost warts. Oh well. Uh, I thought they might have been a, a new form of uh, things. Anyway, I shouldn't be collecting those. I need some um, icy protection. They were just. I mean, I've got piles of dioxide, so. And we should be able to get. Oh, oh, get that. Um, of course, we should get three knowledge stones off here at least. Got the uh, Corvax word for contract. Contribution. Um, where's the steps? There should be some steps here somewhere. Can't see it in this little bit of murk, or oh, well it's a ramp actually. Okay, well. Oh! Didn't take me anywhere. Okay, tribute to whatever it is, monolith. Oh, so it's actually up on the top, but. Okay, embrace its atlas. For many ages, it appears the pilgrims have carved numerical fi figures between the glowing glyphs of the monolith. Looking down, I notice an ancient coin. I scrape the ground with my boot, unearth several more. The sight is otherwise silent. Perhaps it's in eternally unresponsive. Perhaps it waits for something. Um, we're off for 10 units. Uh, it's not like we're short of money. The echoes that dwell here awake. The small slice of time I feel part of their ancient 
convergence, they bless me. And we've got the Atlas. See, again, that was the Atlas language, but if I show you here, we go to the log. There's nothing in the, not the log, the milestones. There's nothing in here that indicates the Atlas language, and it, it, again, it feels very much like it's been a placeholder that's been put into the game that hopefully will eventually be developed. But then, I know I keep saying that, and you feel free to criticise me for it, but I just feel that there are so many things in this game that have been put in for things to come in the future. There we go. So we've got Frozen Eyes, Landscape. Um, got some trees over there. Or was it rocks? It's rocks. That's actually pure salt. No. Um, I wouldn't mind a little bit of salt. I see some storm crystals over there. Just saw them in the murk. Hopefully we will get there before the storm finishes. Let's get a bit of money. Um. And I've got myself lost. Uh. Where is my ship? Well, there's the ship over there. I'll just walk out through here. Grab a little bit of salt, because we can turn salt into chlorine. Uh, which, can, which if I really needed it to make money, <laughs> right, so. Oh, uh, we'll grab some sweet root. Sweet root is a favourite of uh, community missions and it's quite often difficult to collect. Yeah, I think my environmental protection is just about to run out. Um, I'll just grab a couple of rocks in the great tradition of No Man's Sky. Well, all, all space survival games are like this. You end up collecting some resources. Um, dioxide. Oh, I wouldn't mind picking. Okay, let me just top up my environmental protection with dioxide. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I'm down to 405. Uh, I think I'll just pick the... Some of the no, it doesn't look a very big deposit, so I'll just snatch a little bit of this in. It's right on the doorstep. I've just blown a tree up. <laughs> That's not going to endear me to the local sentinels. There we are. I'm just picking up the last few little bits and pieces. That shadow. Look at that. That's, re that's really cool. Seeing the shadows. Ship, ship, ship. There you are. Um, what have I got left to find? Abandoned building. Maybe we'll have a crack at that. It's just a... I think a abandoned building comes under these, isn't it? Distress signal detected. Well... That could be very much a crash ship, so I think it's going to be worth a look. Right, we're just going to fly towards the distress beacon, but I'm not going to go up into space this time. What I want to do is just fly across the surface and see if I can see anything. If I don't see anything, I'll see you once I actually get to the distress beacon. I thought because I'm flying across the surface here, I thought I'd change to a third person view because sometimes in this view you can actually see more than in first person including hitting the trees right we're just coming up on the distress beacon I've just flown right over it can we got a landing sequence 
jump out. Okay, there's somebody here who's going to ha need rescuing, so we're not going to be able to get the ship. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, Corvax Carapace has too much charged. Rune ship offer to investigate. Okay. As analyst entity Sosnod gratefully accepts my offer, I notice a small silicon hatch op hanging open to the side. I close close to their armpit. They notice where I am looking, and I hardly snap the ha hatch closed. So I've actually got to look at the ship, have I? Oops, can't move. Uh, damaged ship. I can detect no physical damage to any of the components. However, I Trading from the ship's cockpit are several cables that look suspiciously similar to the Corvax charging wires found in space stations. Uh, um, let's transfer power from the exosuit. S struck by an idea, I carefully peel back the insulation from one of the trading cables and wire it into my exosuit life support system. There's a moment of tense silence. Suddenly, a loud, demanding beep sounds, and the dashboard displays lights up. The ship's electronic subsystems have been restored to activity. Wow. Ha. Uh. No, it's not. I suppose there's a light colored character in this blizzard. Electronic life form thanks me profusely. They reward me generously for my help throwing a little extra discretion uh, into the, the matter. Wow, we got a little bit of cash. Uh, well, we'll take the slime uh, just to keep everything going. And of course, we can loot out the boxes, do the project projectile ammunition, uh, condensed carbon, uh, more projectile ammunition. I think this system's starting to get to me a little bit. Um, got a Corvax casing. I got the casing before I actually took the rusted metal. Never mind. That's the way it is. Uh, that's a light. That's not the base. There's no base here to claim as such. I think I better get jump back into the ship in this storm. Um, are any those storm crystals really all that close? Are there? I mean, we could do it from the air. If I can see them, one of the problems with ice planets is actually spotting the ice crystals amongst the trees and against the white background. You're far better off actually doing this on, a, say, like a, a hot planet or a radioactive planet. There's some, they're just there. If, if I can get a landing sequence, yeah. Yeah, cold planets aren't ideal for hunting storm crystals, yeah, but uh, we've got a couple here. that's the end and I think I think we're just going to go back to first person and I've just noticed the time so what we're going to do now is we're just going to get back to the <laughs> what's up with the yes I know let's just get well let's just get right back out into space a long way back into space See if we can get a long pulse in. Uh, we'll pulse around the edge of the planet like this. Yep, I'm not that interested. Uh, I'm just going to drop in here. Oh, I just had to stop and have a bit of a coughing fit. And let's see, let's get in here. So it looks like we've got uh, well two and a bit missions, so we might as well start with the the cryo pumps. Uh, so we've got our standings increased with the mercenaries guild. Right, let's work our way through stolen souls. Got some nanites. Uh, that's an increase with the merchants guild, which is good. That's what I'm after. Uh, fusion core, fusion core, teleporter coordinates. Wow. 
Okay, we have to keep an eye on our inventory space with this because More fusion cores. Uh, uh, teleporter coordinates. Um, do the neural ducts. And we'll take the money. I think what we're going to do now is just quit out of this and sell, sell some items. Then we're just going to uh, come out of here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Out of feeling you were filling up. Um, that can go to the freighter. 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 We're do think about the geode later on. The pugnium I don't really need. Um, I don't think, yeah, that's. I think what we can do is sell off some of this other stuff. Oops. Okay. Uh, I want to keep the. Oh. Did I pick the walker brain up then? I didn't. I wasn't aware. Or was it given to me? I think we'll sell the cryo pumps. We'll sell the defense chip because it isn't. Yeah, I've got no use for it. Corvax casing, uh, keep the salt. I think I'll sell the storm crystals for uh, the cash. And look at that, it's a plus 11% is a good price for that. And the neural duct. Um, can't see anything else in here. Just flip to the ship. Um, I think I. Six of these. Now I could um, convert these to something else, but uh, oh, I think I will. Uh, just got here, right? It's got granite, five granite. I sell the granite. I've got some sulfurine. I'd rather keep the sulfurine. Um, just have a quick look at my exosuit. Um, put that in there. Ha, of course it's not. Oops. You're gonna have to. These can go to the exosuits, and that can go to the exosuits. That can go to the exosuits. Um, I think the Herox, no, well, I'll do these. We can get 125 gold from this. So, we can make quite a lot of money from them, but. Uh, I think I'm just going to finish off caching the missions. I'll do all the decomposition of those in off-camera. Handed missions, so we've still got some more of these to do. So, uh, standing with the Vakeen must be off the charts by now. Uh, let's explore us. Yeah, I want the Merchant's Guild, please, game. So we'll just keep selling off all this stuff. I mean, it's not vast sums of money, but it all adds up over time. And I think some of the take picture missions and the feed creature missions have been around for quite some time, actually. Didn't realise I'd got had so many of these, actually, to feed the creatures. So, just take that out. Got some more neural ducts, which we can sell. Explorer's Guild. <laughs> some high capacity vector compressors and finally but not at least a little bit of cash from there and more standing with the core thanks quick browse of the missions uh, I could kill monstrosities but uh, well, we'll take the mission to kill two predators. That's always a good shot. And um, it's going to come out. And this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we'll probably go to a new system and do a derelict freighter. But until then, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.